What's going on you guys and welcome back to the Aerie Show. In today's video we're going to do a review on this platform Coinbase and we're also going to be talking about Coinbase Pro. Honestly I've been using this platform for a few months now and it's one of the easiest, cleanest and simplest platforms to buy, sell, send and receive Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. In this video I'm just going to go over all the features that it has, the pros and cons and pretty much anything to do with this platform as well as some tutorials on how to buy, sell, send and receive. And before we get into the video, if you guys find anything of value or you learn something, please drop a like and or subscribe. It mean a lot to me. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So before we get started, you guys probably heard the news that the world's richest man put $1.5 billion invested into Bitcoin. And that man, Elon Musk, is the world's richest man and he put 8% of his company's cash into Bitcoin. And honestly, it's insane. It's really started a movement and a direction with Bitcoin. And if you guys are thinking about investing into Bitcoin but you don't really know what it is or why you should invest, I have a video and I'll link it right at the top over here. So you can learn a little bit more about Bitcoin. This video is going to be more on how to use Coinbase and more of a review on that platform. Then it is why you should invest into crypto or Bitcoin in general. So if you need that, that's going to be here at the top. And with that being said, let's kind of just hop right into it. So let's get right into this review. First things first, we're going to take a look at the UI user interface. And honestly, it's really clean and simple. You can toggle it to however you want to view it, how your portfolio is performing over the past few hours or how weeks or whatever you want it to be. Other than that, we've got the watch list right over here where you can see all the other types of cryptos. And then we've got some discover features, inviting your friends, and then you can see your portfolio and your recent transactions. So honestly, like I said, super easy and clean. And that's just a homepage right over here. Let's jump right into the portfolio section next. So this is a portfolio section where you can see what's in your portfolio and to what percentage. So you guys can see I have over 55% or over 54% in Bitcoin. And I'll tell you the dollar amount, how much I have. It'll also tell you how much in Bitcoin that I have. I also have some Ethereum, Chainlink, Tezos and some other random cryptos. So it'll show you the percentage, which is really cool. It'll show you the dollar amount and how much you have in those cryptos. One thing that I don't like about it is it won't tell you your cost average. So you basically have to write it down on the side. So for example, if I bought $280 worth of Bitcoin at, let's say right now it's around $48,000 maybe. So let's say I bought around $30,000. It won't tell you what you bought it at and you kind of have to write that down on the side. Of course, you can see it from the recent transactions, but it's kind of annoying to see where your profit or your loss is at. So if you're looking to buy and hold crypto like I am, honestly, Coinbase is kind of sucks for that just because it doesn't show you your cost basis or your average or how much you actually paid for it. You're going to have to do some extra work on the side. So, for example, I dollar cost average into Bitcoin. So every time I buy it, I have to write down the price that I bought Bitcoin at and how much I bought it for, which is kind of annoying and it's extra work. But at the end of the day, it's not that much of a deterrent from using Coinbase just because of the low fees and how easy it is to buy. And I'll kind of hop into that later on in the video. So I decided to just throw this in here so you guys can know what I'm talking about. So you guys can see I have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Chainlink, and I have down all the dates that I bought it at, how much, the fees, and the price that I bought it at. And over here, I just show you my average for each and every single one. So you can see that Bitcoin, I'm at about $33,000 as an average. So you guys can see that I've been buying since $18,000 and just kind of been fluctuating throughout. And each and every week, I put in about $10. So... That's just something to look at and you know it's not like robin hood where it'll show you the average that you bought bitcoin at so i guess that's one of the biggest cons for me at least there probably is an easier way to track it but you know this is just how i do it so let's hop into some of the other sections or tabs so we've got prices right here and this isn't anything too crazy it'll just show you how much the market is doing some of the other cryptos or ranks and pretty much basic stuff that every platform is going to have then we've got a for you section where you can kind of just learn about you know cryptos and anything like that in general and then we've got this one right here, Earn Rewards. And this one's honestly really cool. I've been using this just to kind of just test it out. So obviously you can invite friends and I'll leave my link just in case you guys want to sign up. You'll get $10 in Bitcoin. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Shameless plug. But anyways, we've also got this thing called staking, which is really cool. Honestly, I like to compare it to dividends. And you guys that watch my channel know that I love my dividend growth portfolio and dividends. So honestly, it's a really cool thing. And I'll make a video on this in the future. But basically for easy and just making it kind of easy to understand all it is is you're going to be investing to this crypto and they'll give you a yield so it's this estimated reward is basically like a dividend yield and you can see it's about 4.63 percent and like i said i've just been testing it out so i haven't put too much into it and i've got back about this much in tezos 
and I've also been doing it for some of the other cryptos as well. And if you're not into that, you can also just put in money here and you can get interest. So we've got the USD coin. So if you're into getting interest, you can get it from here or you can get it from here. And I'm sure they have tons of other ones that you can do as well. So that's just one of the cool things about it. So another cool feature before we hop into some tutorials is they actually give you an opportunity to earn free cryptos. So you can see that you can earn $6 with this right here, Cello. And all it is is there's a quick video and it says it's two minutes. And honestly, I don't think it was even that long. They give you a small quiz with one question. And then if you get the question right, then you can get the $2 with this crypto. If you get it wrong, it lets you go again. So you can basically keep doing that for how much ever cryptos they have. So I believe it gave me around $30 worth. And these are all the ones that I've got. So I pulled in $10 here, nine here, and so on. And we're gonna kind of just hop into my portfolio so you guys can take a look. So it's basically a way for you to learn and not only learn, but also get free cryptos or money if you wanna just sell it right away. I decided not to sell it. So this one right here, I remember I got about $6 worth. So I'm just gonna kind of hop right back into that just to make sure that was right. So. Yeah, $6 worth of cello and I decided not to sell it and it turned into $8.25. So it's just a cool way for to basically just, you know, learn and make money at the same time. I think that's a really cool feature that Coinbase has. And it's one that honestly, I think that they're going to keep on adding more and more cryptos as time goes on. And it's just a cool feature. Uh, and other than that, that's pretty much all that this platform has. They have a ton of stuff, but if you're just looking to buy and hold, it's pretty simple. It's easy to use. They're also doing more stuff like they're adding a Coinbase card, which is really cool. And they're also letting you borrow at an 8% interest rate. So let's take a look at this. So I joined the waiting list for this. And as far as I saw, you could get about 4% back in crypto. Um, I'm going to have to find that. Yeah, so earn up to 4% back in rewards, which is really cool. Um, I haven't had this card yet, but... I'm going to join the wait list but it, honestly like i said they keep evolving and adding more and more they're even looking to ipo i believe soon too so that just proves the legitimacy of coinbase on top of that they have a great security system i believe i read that 98 percent of their crypto or anything like that is stored offline which means that if a hacker gets into it they won't be able to most likely take anything from you and it's all secured so i didn't want to bs you guys so i went to double check and 98 percent of customer funds are stored offline so that's another level of security that they have uh i feel definitely feel confident in investing in and with coinbase and i guess now they're even covered by insurance which is great so if you don't feel confident you they also have these things called api keys where you can store your crypto in these keys and it's just another way to add another level of security to your coinbase and to your cryptos so in terms of pros and cons i will definitely give security a huge pro to coinbase all right, one last thing before we hop into the tutorial. So Coinbase has account limits, and this is something that you see from industry competitors as well, and that's just because of all the regulations. So with each level, there's a different level of verification required. So for level one, it's to verify your phone number and so on. And level three is just to verify your photo ID. So all of these aren't at hard at all, but you know it's just a requirement because of all the regulations. But nonetheless, sending and receiving cryptos is really cool, and all these limits are really good, so it's nothing too crazy. On top of that, you don't get any fees for wire transfers, and i kind of show you guys that in a little bit. But I know you guys have been waiting for the tutorial, so with that, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so now we're going to get into the tutorial on how to buy or sell crypto. So honestly, it's very easy to do on Coinbase, and that's one of my favorite things about Coinbase. So we're going to pretend to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, and this is the bank, so this is my bank. But... Yeah, let's take a look. So we're going to preview this buy. And you can see that I'm only purchasing $97 and that's because there's a fee. And fees are something that you're going to see a lot with cryptos. And, you know, aside from Robinhood, all the other industry competitors, you're going to have to pay a bigger fee than this. And obviously $2.99 isn't a lot, but let's say you scale that up. It's going to be a lot more money, but there is a way to bypass that. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And that's with Coinbase Pro. So Coinbase Pro is actually the same login information as Coinbase and you actually get it for free when you make a Coinbase account. It's kind of weird and I don't know why they decided to make two different platforms or two different websites or apps and you can actually download an app for Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. But yeah, it's kind of weird and I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. 
All right, so this is Coinbase Pro and it looks so much more confusing and a lot harder to use than Coinbase does. And I kind of get why they did that. They wanted Coinbase to be for the beginning and new investors that, you know, just want something basic and easy to use. And this is for the more advanced traders or somebody that wants to, you know, trade every single day with crypto or multiple times a day. So it kind of makes sense, but we're going to just kind of show you how it would work if you want to buy $100 here as well. So you're going to hop into the market that you want, which is Bitcoin in this example, and we're going to put $100 and we're going to put it under market. So you can see that there's only a 50 cent fee compared to the $3 fee on Coinbase. So the fee is a lot lower compared to Coinbase. So we're going to actually just buy $10 just to show you. So I'm going to place the buy order and it went through simple as that. It'll tell you how much I bought it for, what it got filled at. So this is how much Bitcoin I got, the price I bought it at, the fee, and it just lets you know that it's filled. So you can actually transfer this amount that you bought into Coinbase. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. All right. So in order to transfer it, you're going to go back to your portfolio section where you can see where everything is. So you can see that I have the USD $15 and the chain link $13.52. So I accidentally transferred it over um, off camera. So I'm just going to do it with the chain link for this example. So we're going to go to withdraw right over here. We're going to go to the crypto that you want to transfer. And then we're going to Coinbase Pro. So you can just basically max out how much you want to send over and you're sending it from this portfolio right here, which is Coinbase Pro to Coinbase. And then I'm just going to hit max again and then withdraw. And it's as simple as that. You're going to see that your withdrawal is complete and it's over to your Coinbase Pro or you're on your Coinbase account. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. All right. So we're back on the Coinbase account and you can see that I've got a giant bump up here and that's because I transferred in that Bitcoin and also that chain link. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see in the recent transaction, the Bitcoin is right here. And so is a chain link. And yeah, that was my bad. Actually, it wasn't recording, but you know, it is what it is. And you can see that my Bitcoin went up by that $10 I invested and also my chain link went up as well. So it's pretty easy. It's easy as that. So instead of wasting money on fees, you can just buy on Coinbase Pro and send it from your Coinbase Pro wallet to your Coinbase wallet and just leave it here to grow or you can just keep it in Coinbase, whatever is easiest for you. And honestly, I thought that was pretty cool that you can just send and receive. And not only can you send and receive it from Coinbase Pro to Coinbase, you can do it vice versa or you can completely send it to somewhere else. You can send it to your cash app or you can send it to someone else. And one of the benefits of this, for example, is on Robinhood, you don't technically own it. It's all on that brokerage. So if you want to buy something, for example, let's go back to the Tesla example where Elon Musk is now allowing people to buy Tesla with like a Tesla vehicle with their Bitcoin. So if you wanted to buy it from Robinhood, you'd have to sell all that money you have on Bitcoin and liquidate that. Then you'd have to pay taxes on that, which is just kind of a force. Or you can just sell it directly from this wallet that you have on your Coinbase and just give that to the Tesla people and get your Tesla car. So it's a lot easier this way. And on top of that, you can just you know, if you want to give somebody $10 worth of Bitcoin, you can do that. It's it's basically easy. And that's one of the things I like about this platform. It gives you a lot of flexibility with low fees. It's easy to use and it's super secure. So definitely love this platform and would recommend it to you guys. So that's pretty much it for my review on Coinbase. Like I said, it's super easy to use. It's simple and it's a great platform overall. If I had to rate it, I would give it a really high rating, you know, like probably a 9.5. I think the most annoying feature isn't a bad feature at all it's just that it doesn't let you see how much your average is which is just a personal pet peeve of mine i mean if you have a different way to set that up you're basically good to go other than that i can't really complain it's one of the better places to invest or to buy crypto or trade it in general so if you guys have any questions on how to set it up or how to use it or anything like that you guys can leave a comment and i'll be sure to answer you can also e email me or dm me on instagram i'll reply to both whatever is easiest for you and if you guys found any value out of this content or if you like the content, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. It goes a long way more than you could ever think. And with that being said, that's all I have for you guys for today. Take it easy and remember guys, everybody eats.